In today's video, I'm going to show you how I make this amazing, delicious, homemade whole wheat bread or what we call in Ghana, brown bread. This is very easy, beginner friendly, and I know for sure you're going to love it. But before then, please take a moment to subscribe to this channel and thank you so much. So let's jump right in. So we'll start by adding warm water to my bowl. Then add in some evaporated milk, which is room temperature. To that, we'll add in my yeast. Then go in with my vanilla extract. We'll also add in some nutmeg. This is honey, okay? But you can use your regular sugar. That will be totally fine. We'll then go in with my soft butter. Some all-purpose flour. And also add in my all-wheat flour. To that we'll add in some salt and i'm just going to go ahead and mix this with my stand mixer and you can totally make this by hand but yeah it's a little hard but achievable so i'm just going to mix this on the lowest setting okay just making sure everything is evenly combined and then increase the speed a little bit So once I'm done mixing, I'm just going to go ahead to knead this for 8 to 10 minutes or until you see that the dough comes together. So the dough lifts up from the mixing bowl and sticks to the dough hook, okay? Like this. But if you're using your hands, I will recommend you knead this for about 15 minutes or until you have a smooth and a beautiful texture, okay? At this point, my dough is ready, so we'll transfer this to my work surface. We'll add a little flour just to bring the dough together and then transfer it into a grease bowl. I ended up using the same mixing bowl because we don't want extra work. <laughs> So I just added some olive oil, okay, because when the dough rises, it's going to stick to the bowl and will be messy. So I'm going to cover it with my kitchen towel and keep it in a warm place for an hour. Normally, I just leave it in my oven to rise and look how perfect it came out. It has risen to a good texture. You always want to make sure your dough doubles in size, okay? So I greased my pan with some oil and then add a little dusting of flour. And I'm just trying to shake it so it covers every side of the pan. And by doing so, it prevents your bread from sticking to the pan when you baked. I'm just going to cut it into two because this bread recipe uses two amazing good size loaves. So what I usually do is to roll it with my rolling pin like a long thing. But, but all you really have to do is to just um, pat it out a little bit like that and just roll it up that's it and also making sure the bottom goes down there guys it doesn't really have to be perfect okay and then ready for the pan so now it goes in the pan like that And now I'm going to go ahead to cover it again with a clear plastic wrap and my kitchen towel and let it rise in a warm place for another half hour. You just want this to double in size, hopefully just to fill up your loaf pan about one inch above your pan. So after 15 minutes later, look at that. 
so perfect our dough has definitely doubled in size and i'm going to go ahead to put it in my preheated oven at 375 degrees fahrenheit and normally i place um pan of water so you have hot water in the oven while your bread bakes and that ensures that your bread is going to come out very moist okay and after 30 minutes our bread is ready guys look at that it smells so amazing and of course it's going to taste delicious you can do this simple recipe just have your ingredients in just room temperature and you can do it it's really that easy so i went ahead to cover it with my kitchen towel just to cool down completely okay but you know me i couldn't wait oh no one towel like clack clack you can tell this bread is so soft light and fluffy and it tastes super delicious so i hope you give this recipe a try okay all right guys thank you all so so much for watching and until i come your way with another amazing recipe please stay blessed and happy bye guys